Hey there UK ECs, today we're reviewing this which is the Real Steel Luna in conjunction with Poltergeist Works of Poland. Uh, Real Steel is obviously a Chinese manufacturer so this will be made in China of course. But don't let that put you off because this is a little stunner. Uh, this cost me about £100 although had I waited for Heine Haynes to get it it would have been a little bit cheaper. I would have missed out on this cool little lanyard though which came free with it at the time. It's should be widely available. I don't know if the hype on this has died down yet because, good lord, this sold out quick everywhere. Uh, as soon as this came out, it was sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Every single website It is just a hard one to get this one for a little while. And with damn good reason because, spoiler alert, this is one of my favourite knives of last year. Easily. Probably my favourite £100-ish knife of last year. I do have another knife that's just pushes this out but that was significantly more expensive when it was released last year uh, this one however a really decent price um so i've already been over the box but do you know it's so nice we're gonna go over it again uh great design all that all this you get your own individual serial number 104 on mine and you get that again Titanium 104. So you should have your own serial number on yours. Uh, you do get a birth date card, which is fantastic. Look, your number is on there as well. Uh, all this lot. Um, <laughs> I just realised, yeah, I mentioned in my Chris Reeves, I don't think I've ever had a, a birth date card, but apparently I have. Um, there you go, you shits. There's the uh, there's the sort of stats for you. Ah, I might still throw up the stats, whatever. But um, th that's the designer. There he is. You read it then. And uh, then you get uh, they show you how to take it apart in there, which is great. You get your cool real steel cloth and stuff. It's great. Uh, this is a fantastic you know you got like your nice red shiny stuff um this is a good package high quality stuff uh really great real steels um packaging there packaging aside because 90 percent of people probably don't give a crap about that they're just going to throw that away or put it on a box um on a shelf sorry there she is keeping note uh, I've added the thumb stud there. You won't usually get that, but um, it's such a great spring strength for me. You can just... Why the hell wouldn't I put a thumb stud on this? Can you put a hindra on this, actually? Why, yes, you absolutely can fit a hindra thumb disc on there. What's that you say? I'm not spending two, three hundred pounds on a knife just to get the thumb disc. You don't have to. Heine Haynes actually sell these separately now for about £15. Uh, yeah, it is more expensive than um, these ones, but... Hey, you know, you prefer the look of that, and I actually think I do. I might buy one of those for myself. You know, another one. Yeah, that works phenomenally. Just because you grooves both sides there so it can clamp down quite nicely on that so uh yeah we'll leave that one in there for now why not so action on this is just glorious it's about my perfect so you do get a sort of half stop but it's there which is great because you can hold the knife close it with your thumb move your fingers out of the way and finish it but it's light enough that you can just fly past it on the open use your shit and close it just ideal really really good good action on this the spring strength for me i love it it's not the strongest spring in the world but it's actually pretty damn damn all right uh it's not it's not just an easy one to just snap look you get like a fair bit of return travel there and you also get jimping down here so you can put your thumb there and while it's not quite a finger choil you can still push back with it also it stops like there well before a half stop so it's nowhere near the dreaded like all the way up here where the, the blade's sort of starting to dig into you 
it's there where the blade's well out of your finger's path. And yeah, I guess you can't really push it back from there, but you can certainly use the thumb stud. So that's that's pretty damn good. Um, it's a very nice grind on this. Um, yeah, it's a fairly fairly fat, flat grind, but uh, oh, actually, maybe this doesn't work. Let's have a look. Let me just try opening and closing that a couple of times. Eh, nah, seems fine. But yeah, so it's, it's a nice flat grind, I think. And it's it's not super thick behind the edge by any means. I mean, it already said on the the thing, but. Oh my goodness, look at that. 8,000, are you joking me? This is N690, titanium obviously. There's no liners. You do get a stop pin in there if you can see. Uh, I have already taken this apart. You get your lovely pen style pocket clip that I think is not reversible sadly uh but you know at least the groove runs both sides so you can still open it like that if you want it's not the end of the world just a bit of a shame you get your super cool poltergeist works logo there you get n690 ti and your blade number there real steel logo on this side uh weirdly you have the tool on the show side rather than on the non-show side don't know about that. This has got a really nice sort of like dual phosphor bronze sort of thing going on in there. You've got three Torx bits there going along alongside, I believe, their T6s, and that's a T8. Am I wrong? T8. Nope. T6s and T8s. Uh, let's have a look at the edge retention. I haven't sharpened this at all. And I have carried this a few times because this is great. Yeah, really good for N690. Uh, usually I at least have to strop N690 after a, like a couple of days, but this one just keeps going. Seems fine to me. Uh, again, don't take my word for that. I'm just a shitter working sort of like in a restaurant doing office style EDC. So if you're planning to use this for anything more than that, uh, my opinion is going to be worthless. But if you're just working in office as well, eee, it's pretty good. Uh, do you get your sharpening choil, which I greatly appreciate. Centering on this, absolutely spot on. Look at that. Blade play, uh, what's that? Not on this knife, it's not. So let's do a little length compare against some um, others. Boom, there's paramilitary. Boom, there is a 940. And boom, there's your little boy there, which is a mini grip. And we've also got ourselves a UK PK. A Victorinox Pioneer and a Victorinox SD. And look at them. Unequivocally UK legal. If we quickly have a look at the blade length there with my calipers. Even though it would have just been on screen if I'm not a lazy bastard. Oh, hello. There we go. Would have just been on screen. Uh, we have got a total blade length from the start of the bolster. Not a goddamn problem. And actual blade length 
from the choil is around about that. I gotta say, uh, this thing looks great. Like the little cuts out of the uh, titanium here, they're cool. The blade looks really nice. It's a great angle, like edge angle uh, behind the edge thickness. I really like the sort of not a nail nick pull. I like this here. I can't remember what that's called now. <clears throat> Absolutely love the action. Ergonomics on this are just great. This is just a really nice little gentleman's knife. Deep carrot pocket. Deep carrot? Deep carry pocket clip. Looks like a pen. Oh man, this guy has got everything right. This is absolutely a knife to get. Uh, I could not give this a more glowing review. I haven't had a single problem with this. No, like nothing on this knife, but no point using this have I gone. Ah, I wish that was different. Uh, fit and finish. I can't find anything wrong with this. Everything's really well machined. Uh, real steel are killing it. Gosh, I really like this knife. I. <laughs> it's really impressed me because I, I bought this on a whim thinking eh, it might be alright uh, it's really damn good really good so uh, yeah if, if you've any interest in this at all highly highly recommended uh, thank you very much cheers for watching